What is going on everyone? Okay. It is your boy Kieran the Barber here. Today we bring you how to cut a kid's hair. This young man here, his name is Riley. I've been cutting Riley's hair for about three years now. Um, Riley's really good. He sits really still. He's funny. Um, and this is how you do a side part pompadour, a nice easy one on the kid's hair. I really hope you enjoy this video just before I get started. Um, please like, follow, subscribe, give it a share. This is the easiest way to cut a kid's hair. I promise you that, especially if you're giving them a side part, obviously. So first things first, what I want to be doing is I want to be removing bulk. So with my Andis US Pro cordless, I stick on my magnetic guard at number two, and I come just past the temple, leaving me enough room to fade in that top part, and leave me enough room to do a zero into a one into a one and a half. Now with my zero guard, I want to just put in a detailed line just on the eye, just eye level, covering it just round the ear, coming just above the occipital bone. And then I'll remove bulk, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab from a closed and open guard, and I'm just going to start flicking out that fade. So then with a number one magnetic guard, I open and close that in all different sort of levels just so I can start flicking out between that half and the number two just so the face starts coming into place.
Riley, can you show everyone on the camera? You're doing an impression of a duck washing its face, please. Can you watch? Here, get your hands out of the camera. Do a duck washing its face. <laughs> There we go, see? So for everyone at home who didn't know what a duck washing his face sounded like, there we go, we have it for you right now. So now with my Kenji scissors, I want to come up at a 90 degree angle. I don't want to go into the hair because I want that to sit nice and soft just on the part. Through the part to the actual fade, I want that to look thicker but just to sit nice and soft. So if you come and bring that up at a 90 degree angle, you're not taking the weight out of the hair, but what you are doing is you're blending that up. Now sticking in a hard line or a hard part depending on what you call it, I use my Slimline Pros and I very, very softly just start putting that line in. You notice so I'm not digging in, I'm not scratching, I'm very, very soft on the skin, there's going to be no red marks whatsoever. He's a kid, bear in mind, he's from the ages of newborn to at least 13, 14. Their skin is still very, very delicate, it's very soft, so just make sure you're just tapping away, you're being very, very careful with it. No one wants an angry mum on the door. Now with the top, I want this to be very, very level. I want to club cut this all round. I do not want to chimp into it. He's a kid at the end of the day. Riley's hair is very soft, so it sits back fine without needing any texture in it. I'm going to take a little, little bit of weight out because it is thick, but with my smaller thinning shears, I have different size thinning shears. So I call them my kids' thinning shears because they only take out a tiny, tiny bit. Yeah. 
Oh my god, did it? I didn't even know it went up to 25. What level does it go up to? It never ends. But you're quite high, level 25 is quite a good level. Yeah. I'm a pro. You're a pro? Yeah. You make money out of it? Yeah. Oh. I'm not a YouTuber. You're not a YouTuber? Not yet. Not yet. You should tell everyone on the camera, say so you should, you're going to create a YouTube channel. What are you going to call it, Riley? I'm, I'm not sure. He's not sure. But when we find out, we're going to tell you. Yeah. What games are you going to YouTube on it? Probably, um, Hillies. Probably, yeah. Um, Lego Avengers, which I've already completed. Nice. I've played Lego Avengers. I'm, I'm pretty good at it. I've completed it. Have you? Yeah. Oh, man. You just need to get a little bit of that fringe out of your eyes now, mate. Did you just trick? You don't just trick! It just rubbed against the arm. Nearly fell. <laughs> can't tell everyone on camera, I nearly fell over. Nah, you can, it's funny. So now <laughs> Riley there grabs um, my sunglasses and thought it'd be cool to put them on. As cool as a cucumber. So what we're going to be using is we're going to be using the Preptonic Thickening Spray um, from Lock, Stock and Barrel. It's really, really good. It's like a sea salt spray. It just goes into the hair nice and soft. It's awesome. This gets hot, okay, Riley. Just scream or something, alright? I don't think it will. It'll be alright. Use your proper arm. Yeah, this gets hot, yeah. If, this, if it gets hot on your head, yeah? Feels good to be a gangster. A real gangster type player plays his cards right. Oh. Oh. So now to finish off the haircut, I'm going to be using a little bit of hair powder. Um, got to be, I just really, really rate Got to be. It's such a good um, value product, what you can get from any anywhere. And then just a little bit of hard clay just to finish off. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to get a Jack Dean Pompadour um, comb. And we're just going to go through there. And we're pretty much done. He is so cool, this kid. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed my video, um, that is how to cut a kid's hair, please like, follow, please give me a subscribe, I'm looking to get 75k, and have a great week, weekend, or whatever you're doing with yourself, just have a great one, be safe, peace out people!